Hi everyone, it's me Emily. Today I will be doing a speed build for a kid called Laundromat. This was requested by someone in my comments and even though we don't really have laundromats where I live, I had a look at some other people's interpretation of them and so I'm hoping I can do a good job. I do want to apologise for not posting in a while. To be honest, I got very burned out from playing Animal Crossing so I don't feel like playing and therefore kind of got in a slump of recording but then even when I started wanting to record and play again I actually had a broken laptop so I had no way to film my videos but I've got a new laptop now so I'm back I can make them and I've made myself a recording plan and like a timetable so hopefully I won't miss any more videos and I can get back to posting weekly for you all. You will see I have already laid out some pathing in this area. I put a big step of silver right here and I want on this kind of like silver stone area to be the waiting part of the laundromat where you wait for your clothes and then on the terracotta tiling I'm going to be putting the actual shop and like the section with all the washing machines. Starting out with some simple panels I used these ducts and then these windows to create a really simple but cute looking design. If at any point you like any of the codes I use, I do have a video on my channel called 100 Kid Core Design Codes I Use on My Island and you can find every single code I use on there or you can just leave me a comment and I will try and find it for you. As for fencing, I am going to be using the iron fencing and I actually customised some of this to be yellow which I think looks really cute and then contrasts nicely with the blue. As I say, when I was looking at how other people have created laundromats, it definitely seems like yellow and blue are the most common colours to use so I really tried to stick with this in my own build. A slight change that I wanted to make here was to put the glass doors in the middle and then have the ducts just off to the side. I felt like it made it look a bit more balanced and just interesting to look at. And over here you'll see I have a whole bunch of items that I picked up for the build. I really like to leave in when I'm looking through my items because I kind of feel like it gives you guys some inspiration, you can see what pieces I maybe wanted to think about using. So even if I don't end up using them in the final piece, you could maybe use them in your own board if you wanted to. I'm using a garden table, I kind of wanted to create a reception area down here and have it be a bit inspired by, you know, when you first walk in where you might pay to come and use some machines like pre ahead of time or whatever and I wanted to put some shoes on this table so I went with the Dodo Airline slippers because they're so nice and they really pop against the white and I think that they look really cute I'm placing a bench and then some waiting items around because if you were waiting for your washing to dry or to get clean then you might want to read a magazine or I originally put the arcade game here because I thought maybe you would play whilst you were waiting but I do feel like the drinks machine just works better because you might want to get a drink and then you can sit down on the bench. And then here is where I actually started using the washing machines. I had Reese customised these all into blue for me and I think they look so pretty. And here you'll see I actually placed down a green one and I didn't even notice it until I saw it compared to the blue. So when I noticed I came and put it on this side so that I wouldn't accidentally use that green washer. I do have a bit of a cough at the moment so if I sound a bit odd then that's probably why. Just making sure that they are in line with each other. And then finishing up this array of washers. This was the only washing machine item I could find but I think there are tumble dryers as well 
so at some point if I get those in my catalogue then I maybe will come back and incorporate them into the build. And here was honestly the defining moment of this build where I put down a puddle under the washing machines. I think it looked so cute, you can see it makes them look like they've spilt out a little bit and just, I don't know, I think it looks really cute, I love it. And so I loved it so much, I actually repeated it on both sides. And then I'm just coming through here and placing down some fun tiles really focusing in on the yellow colour, so you'll see I chose the yellow bag as well as a couple of other yellow designs such as the spilt milk and the fruit loop and then on the more yellow tiles I'm trying to place down blue designs so as you'll see it's very much a yellow and blue build and I think they kind of contrast quite nicely with each other. I wanted to create this whole sitting section but when I put down my final plastic bench I realised it was pink and not blue like I had expected. So unfortunately I just didn't feel like it worked. I did try replacing it with a public bench but for some reason I thought I had the yellow and blue public bench not the green one, so again it didn't really look right in my opinion. And just overall I got a bit stuck with this area so I just moved on, placed a coin down here because I knew you need to put coins into the washing machines to make them work so I thought some big coins would kind of represent that. And yeah as always whenever I get stuck on an area I think it can be useful to just move on, work on another part of the build and then come back to it once I'm feeling more ready. I had a go at switching out that garden table for this stool. I felt like maybe it would look a bit more professional and kind of emphasise that I wanted this to be a reception area, but it just didn't really look right so I decided then to switch it around again and try setting it up over along this back edge. And of course my pockets had to be full. Once I got it up, I did like it, um, it was just a bit tall but you'll see I tried to make it look better by placing some items, so the planter, the phone is quite cute. I did try putting the coin on there as well which I think looked nice. And then here I just moved the plastic bench off to the other side which made the area look a bit more balanced. Then down here I just kind of had moved on because I wasn't super pleased with my reception area but I had some other ideas. So you'll see I placed the mop down over here and I think it looks amazing, so cute. And with those water puddles you can definitely tell that the mop is meant to be helping you clean up the area. Just tucked in behind this house I'm placing a clothesline pole and I kind of wanted to push it back so that you couldn't quite see it because I feel like it's a little hidden item where once your clothes have been washed you can then put them on to dry. And that is also by the way the main reason why I chose this area for before my build is because I put it behind all of my villagers houses because I like the idea that they would come and wash their clothes here. And we are back to the garden table idea, but instead I placed down a cordless phone instead of the slippers which I think helped me get that good balance of reception area. And then here is where I decided to place the arcade combat machine. I think it's such a cool item but they're so expensive unfortunately so I don't have that many to work with. And then the Dodo Airline slippers got their reincarnation over on that mushroom. 
Just starting to place down my finishing touches now here. I think the toy duck is an excellent item, so fitting for this part of my island and it just looked so so cute. And then the very last thing that I'm actually going to be placing is some Wellington boots. I actually thought these were going to be yellow but they were blue and I don't think it really mattered, the blue still matches just fine. So now let me take you on the finished walkthrough of this area. We have the coin and a little reception area. Somewhere where you can come and play on an arcade machine whilst you wait on your clothes. Another coin, a place to get a magazine or a drink. And then some places you can stop and sit for a little while. Then we have the actual washing machines over here. A mop and some boots to show that this is a very much in use area. And on this side you've got the Dodo Airline slippers and that clothesline pole. I'm so so happy with how this area turned out, I think it looks amazing and that's why I really appreciate your guys' requests because it kind of gives me inspiration to build stuff and this is probably something I never would have put on my island if it hadn't been for a request. As you can see I just think it looks really sweet. If you did enjoy this build then please do consider leaving me a like and a comment and now that I am back and I've got my upload schedule and stuff you could consider subscribing because there will be a new video every single week, um, you know, if it all goes according to plan. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!